So I bought this keyboard about three months ago and I wanted to wait until I got enough experience on it before making the review. So today we are going to do a quick review of the Akai MPK Mini Mark III. I'm not going to do a full review of the keyboard since there are already many on YouTube. What is going on guys? Thank you for joining me today. My name is Anubis and today I will be reviewing the Akai MPK Mini Mark III. Let's get down to business. So number one, the MPK Mini Mark III is very portable. This is a very light keyboard which can easily fit in most backpacks. You can power it up using a USB cord uh, from a phone or a tablet and it is class compliant so it means that you don't need to install any drivers in order to use your MPK Mini. At number two let's talk about the pads on this machine. I really love the pads they are amazing I own an MPC Touch and I've owned uh, some other uh, pad controllers in the past and I really enjoy uh, using the pads on my MPK Mini. I can say that I even prefer them compared to my MPC Touch. So at number 3, I really love the rotary knobs on the MPK. Uh, they have really a nice feel and they are endless. So it's really easy to use in uh, most software or VST instruments. You can get some custom MIDI uh, mapped to your MPK and use them as you wish. So number four, let's talk about all of the great software which is coming with the MPK Mini. So it comes with the MPC Beats Free DAW, uh, which will allow you to get used to the MPC workflow. Um, it's, it has almost the same features as the full MPC software, so I'm sure a lot of you are going to enjoy that and uh, it comes with a lot of expansion packs and VST instruments. All right, so the number one thing that I don't like about my MPK Mini is the, the joystick. Um, I cannot get used to using the joystick for pitch and modulation. And there is not much that I can say about it. I just don't enjoy it at all. Number two, uh, the standalone ARP is not really advanced on the MPK Mini. Like on the standalone, you can use uh, some ARP features, uh, but they are not really advanced. And uh, I also saw that there is a way to use the scales uh, directly from the hardware uh, by using basically the MPK editor. However, it's not very user friendly when you compare that to the Novation workflow. So that's something that um, I don't really like about the MPK Mini. So number three, uh, I don't really enjoy the, the keys on the MPK Mini. So the first thing that I don't like about the keys is um, they are really, really tiny. Like I don't have uh, very fat fingers. However, uh, it's not really fun using those keys especially coming from a bigger keyboard, it's not going to be a very enjoyable, enjoyable experience. Mm -hmm. 
last but not least let's talk about the velocity of the keys on the mpk mini um, if you own one of them i'm sure you've noticed that you need to hit the keys pretty hard in order to get full velocity from the keyboard and uh, there is no easy way of addressing that i tried to look directly in the mpc software and i did not find a way i recently stumbled across a video from a lady who's explaining how to fix the velocity from the keyboard itself i'm not going to explain it on my channel but I'm, I'm going to leave a link to her video in my description for you to check it out. Before we close this video, I just want to let you know that we have released a sample pack in the month of December. It's called the Platinum Melodic Sample Pack. It contains 40 melodic loops crafted by four producers. I'm going to leave a link in the description below in case you want to grab the sample pack. There is also a free version of the sample pack which contains 12 loops. Uh, it is totally free. I'm also going to leave a link uh, to that free sample pack in the description. I cannot end this video before wishing every one of you a happy new year and uh, i also want to thank every one of you for subscribing to my channel i'm very grateful for all of the support that i've been receiving and uh, i just want to say a big thank you and i will keep dropping new content uh, for the next year i will probably do a couple of things a bit differently but i will still be there dropping some content on my youtube channel 